The mysterious serpent portal that swaps Joey and Damik at the beginning of Hive Swap sits at the center of the game's mysteries. In today's Hive Swap lore, we'll plunge into its depths and see what learning about this strange machine reveals about Hive Swap, Homestuck, and the possible futures of both stories. Starting with this, this machine is not just a teleporter. It actually has two functions, the second of which we can figure out by considering the mysterious red-green spiral depicted on Joey's key. The same spiral that serves as the portal itself. In Homestuck, Jane Crocker receives a lollipop with the same hypnotic spiral from a pair of aliens. There, the lollipop is marked as Aurin, the twin serpent amulet from the never-ending story. The main character of TNS is a human boy named Bastion, who finds himself drawn into the world of a storybook called The Neverending Story. Once there, he's given the Orin Amulet, which makes Bastion all-powerful in the fictional world of Fantastica. As long as he wears it, any wish he holds is fulfilled without fail. But this power comes at a heavy cost. The amulet corrupts Bastion, exerting a psychological pull that compels him to keep it close, even as it consumes his humanity. Jane similarly finds her wishes granted by the lollipop. Jane is also compelled to lick the lollipop, and once she does, she's transformed into a trickster. A powerful and disturbing being, singularly focused on being happy and fulfilling her own desires at the cost of her human sense of self. The gate has many similar properties. It doesn't cause a trickster transformation, thank god, but it does mess with Joey's head, psychologically pulling her into opening it. And once she's pulled in, she finds at least two of her wishes coming true. She goes pro as a veterinarian, achieving one of her lifelong dreams, and in Zephros, the lonely girl makes a friend, someone who appreciates and notices her efforts. On top of that, Zephros is in a band, and one of Joey's other lifelong dreams is to dazzle the world stage and become a star. Another wish that now seems primed for success. Other than being thrown into a dystopian alien hellscape, Joey hasn't even suffered any major personal consequences. Yet, at least. Along with the portal, Pa's attic holds a monkey's paw, a reference to the short story where a monkey's paw grants three wishes with a horrific price for each one. A grim omen, especially since Joey and Zephyr's quest is being assisted by none other than Lucifer himself. But that is another story, and shall be told another time. From another angle, we could say that the horrific punishment for these wishes is in fact already here, since both the Alternian Empire and Joey's home planet of Earth are in fact completely doomed. Because of a mind-bogglingly huge, stable time loop about the size of all of Homestuck, Alternia and Earth will both face massive apocalypses in the near future. We don't know exactly when this apocalypse will take place in Alternia, but we know Earth's apocalypse begins on April 13th of 2009. Meaning if the story ended with everyone escaping to Earth, our heroes would have about 15 years before everybody died forever. Since the Alternian Empire can't be significantly changed before the coming apocalypse destroys it, Demic's revolutionary efforts are also pretty screwed. Even if our heroes succeeded at changing anything, they would just be creating a paradox that would doom their timeline, since both planets have to be destroyed in order to cause the events that end up creating them in the first place. This is an unavoidable fate. So I can hear you asking, is there any hope for Jude and Joey? For Damik and Zephros? For these piles and piles of troll call trolls we're meeting in Act 2? Is there any hope for Vriska, Taz? We have to know. We... We... Yes, there is hope. And we can find it in the other reference built into the Serpent Portal, to a series Homestuck has referenced before, Stargate. Stargate is a science fiction series centered on the adventures of Military Division SG-1 as they explore the stars through a network of the titular Stargates, spread across the universe by a mysterious people called the Ancients. The Serpent Portals are a bit of a step up since the two we've seen are able to allow teleportation across two different universes, not just galaxies, but otherwise they share stunningly similar designs. But more interesting than how the portal works is the context behind its creators, a mysterious species of angels known as the Sheriffs. Very little is known about Sheriffs, but as the ancient precursor race that predates all other known civilizations, they share a lot of similarities with Stargate's Ancients, and exploring those similarities stands to tell us a lot about both Sheriffs and the future of Hiveswap and Homestuck. Sherubs are the most powerful known species in Paradox space, capable of interstellar flight using only their bodies. 
They're innately connected to the universal principle of Auron that rules Paradox Space. Do as you wish. This connection grants them limitless power. The serpents on the portal are actually depictions of sheriffs, who DBZ transform into giant snakes measuring one astronomical unit in length and have apocalyptic duels on the edges of black holes when they have sex. All adult sheriffs are strictly aligned with either good or evil tendencies. They mark spans of territory spanning several light years each. Good sheriffs protect all life within their territories from their counterparts, who seek only to conquer and destroy. The ascended, near omnipotent beings in Stargate have a similar split between the benevolent ancients and the brutal tyrants known as the Yorai. Sheriffs are extremely asocial. Except for mating, they can live their entire lives without seeing one other of their kind. The Cherub Gate is the first truly solid indication we have that Cherubs ever had anything resembling a society. But with the established context of the Ancients, not quite the only one. The Ancients have a mysterious lost homeworld, which we remember as Atlantis. Cherub folklore also speaks of a mysterious kingdom that serves as the origin of Cherub culture, including legendary weapons and an aesthetic that Cherubs are instinctually predisposed to love. Nobody knows what this kingdom is called, or if it was ever even real. But the fact that Cherubs created these gates, and potentially spread them across the multiverse, if the reference is followed to the end, makes it that much more likely. Unless, of course, they didn't. But the other possibility is downright horrifying. If Sherubs as a race didn't create these gates, the likeliest culprit is the main antagonist of Homestuck. The reason Earth and Alternia are doomed, and the reason they exist. The indestructible, time-traveling demon known as Lord English. L.E. also comes with some interesting Stargate parallels. As an evil Sherub with shades of Christian symbolism, he obviously echoes the Ori. He also echoes the other major antagonists in Stargate, a race of mind-controlling snakes known as the Goa'uld. The Goa'uld pose as false Egyptian gods, matching L.E.'s Egyptian motif, and they rule an empire built on brainwashed warriors, much like the Alternian Empire. Lord English is immortal, unstoppable, and the greatest evil Paradox Base currently knows. Any world he exists in is doomed to the same cruelty and violence we've seen on Alternia, and only death will free it. So how about that hope? Well, Joey and friends can't stop Lord English. Proof of his victory is already here. But if we're lucky, they might escape him. With Joey hanging on to the share of portal diagram, there's an interesting amount of emphasis being built on figuring out how the thing works. And if the Sherub Gate works anything like the Stargate, there are likely other gates all around the multiverse. If they can learn how to use the Sherub Gates and find a gate that takes them to a new world, a safe world free from the evil influence of Lord English, then our heroes might find hope. And as it happens, Homestuck's heroes have created just such a world. Earth-C may still have its problems, but by comparison to Earth or Alternia, it's a paradise. A peaceful land where humans, trolls, and others live as equals. Where the light of democracy shines for all. And there's more to find here than just freedom. In this world, another version of Joey's babysitter lives a happy life as an immortal goddess. Another version of her estranged pa has grown past his escapist and negligent nature. And if my personal guess is correct, even another version of Jude and Joey's lost mother might be waiting. But that is another story, and shall be told another time. The point is, Earthsea could turn out to mean peace, catharsis, and impossible happiness for our heroes. Yes, it really could be heaven on Earth. And if Joey's adventures were to alert the gods of Earthsea to the presence of a Sherub Gate on their own planet, suddenly the cast of Homestuck would have the means to explore the entire multiverse at their whim. And if this puts them in conflict with Lord English's vast and uncharted empires, they would be the guardians of the only known bastion of freedom, light, and democracy in the multiverse. This is pretty much exactly the role the heroes of Stargate fill, too. And given that Hussey has told us he plans to do more with both Hiveswap and Homestuck through his partnership with Viz Media, well... A Sherub Gate would be a good way to give the cast of OC some conflict to work with. I won't say any of these things will definitely come to pass, of course. Hiveswap has only gotten started, and What Pumpkin has always been very good at surprising me. But whenever I've turned out to be wrong about their stories, it's always been the case that they had something better and more interesting planned all along. If and when that happens, I'll be happy to tell you. I just wanted to give my thoughts here to provide some insight on the bigger picture Hiveswap fits into, and give us all an idea of the state and possibilities involved. The path we're following Joey on could lead to the darkest depths imaginable, or to the brightest, bluest skies. So I'll leave it to you guys. What do you think? 
What will you do? Thinking about all this, are you any more excited for Hive Swap? Personally, I really hope you are, because I know I am. Let me know in the comments. This video exists thanks to the support of my wise cohort of patrons. If you'd like to summon more videos like this onto your screen, then you can join them. Also make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video. That's all for now. Until next time, keep rising.